Welcome back to another video, folks. I was actually sent this in the Instagram DMs. Uh, I have no idea who the heck this individual was, so I thought I'd share my thoughts on YouTube and break down her transformation. Who the hell is Natalie Noel? <laughs> that was funny. Right, so let's get stuck in. Natalie Noel, she's got another name, I think, but she's known as Natalie Noel, is quite famous on Instagram. I believe she is an assistant or an exec or something of the sorts of some high profile YouTuber. So she's raking it in and she's very popular as well. So she actually underwent a transformation. I believe she lost around 30 pounds in six months, it was, and she'd worked with a trainer and it was plastered all over social media and there was articles written about her, blah, blah, blah. All good and well. So I thought I'd share my thoughts on it because a lot of people will have been looking at that and they would have thought, wow, that's awesome. Can I achieve something like this as well? So stay tuned. I want to quickly break that down for you. So as I said, she had lost 30 pounds and there was an awesome transformation as well, which you'll see on the screen. So that was good. She wasn't purely just focusing on scale numbers. At the end of the day, she was focusing on the way that she looked and the way that she felt. However, one good thing about this transformation compared to most, I suppose, celebrity transformations is, I don't know if she's a celeb, is the fact that she was very realistic about it and she was putting it out there that this was for her. She wasn't saying you could lose this, lose this many pounds, X, Y, Z. She was basically doing it for herself. Yes, it was documented and she knows that she's in the public eye as well. Fair enough. But at the end of the day, she was quite realistic about it. Six months is quite a realistic time frame. So how did she actually do it? Well, I believe she was working with the trainer for that duration of time. Uh, the YouTube video is actually up there, which is pretty decent to watch. Uh, they break down the journey. A couple of things I was a fan of and a couple of things I wasn't. But as far as the training side of things goes, let's break it down. So first things first, she was training around, I believe, four to five times a week. She found it quite brutal, quite intense, actually. She had, uh, In the video, you can see that at times she was quite, <laughs> uh, quite broken and she didn't really want to follow through with things I wanna go home. but hey ho she did it I believe she's got some sort of a football background or as the Americans call it soccer football's football no matter where you play it yeah and because of that she had the fundamentals for you know running and sprinting etc etc so that was something that worked in her favor so she was doing cardio she was lifting weight she was doing all of that under the supervision of a personal trainer all well and fine she did mention however at one point that she didn't want to do things she didn't enjoy. So as you can see from the snippet here, she wanted to do things that she could enjoy and found fun. And that's the most important thing for you guys, especially if you want to lose weight, you have to do things that you enjoy. If you don't, you will struggle and you will not stick to it. So that was the first point I wanted to make. With regards to nutrition, I wasn't really able to find much on nutrition. She did mention something about carbs and pasta, I believe, but the one thing that she did mention was this brilliant word, moderation. Moderation is something a lot of people don't actually understand and they don't know how to apply it because when it comes to weight loss y'all seem to focus on one extreme to the other there's no middle ground that's what people struggle with when people think of weight loss they think i need to diet i need to cut carbs i need to be drastic with regards to the certain food that i consider my vice Obviously we deal with South Asians, so in most cases people are cutting out their Asian foods, oils, etc. They can't stick to it for longer than two weeks and then they revert back and they gain more weight. However, with her, she said that she was eating pretty decent, you know, she was eating healthy and at uh, the weekend she was able to relax and I believe the word she used was moderation, which is absolutely brilliant because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. There was no mention of keto, salads or anything as such. Um, from what I've seen or what I've read, I believe it was quite balanced, which is absolutely brilliant. And then the last one, which was a time frame, six months. This is the part that really caught my eye and the part that I really wanted to share with you. Six months. Six months is a long time for a lot of people and for some people it isn't. Six months is an amazing time frame to actually set aside. Most celebrity transformations or people who want to go on quick fixes can last you what, you know, 60 to 90 days. But six months is plenty of time and that's the part that I really started to kind of read more about and I quite enjoyed it. She's probably the first person I've come across uh, in a long while actually uh, who's actually done this properly and realistically and she's given herself plenty of time and that was good because in between I believe she was doing skill readings she did a dexa scan which is a way to measure your body fat um, as well and that was good so she was taking her time with it six months and that was absolutely brilliant you guys especially when it comes to weight loss and transformation need to have the same mindset stop focusing on these other celebrities that are more popular more wildly popular and have large following follow people like this who tell you exactly that hey i'm doing this for myself i'm doing this for my health etc etc took me six months absolutely brilliant time frame honestly probably one of the transformations that i actually enjoyed reading through yeah a couple of things I wasn't a big fan of, especially was a training regimen because I think for her it was fine. I believe the trainer was pushing her and there were times where she didn't want to wake up and she was sore and exhausted, etc. Absolutely not necessary when it comes to yourself. If you want to lose weight, be fit and healthy. No pain, no gain doesn't exist, folks. Like, yes, if you're wanting to gain muscle tissue and you really want to go to the extremes, absolutely. But for the general pop out there who just want to lose weight, get fit, get in shape, etc., you don't have to train five to six days a week, okay? Like, absolutely not. The other thing I wasn't a fan of 
love, but it was fine for her because she had that background was the fact that she was doing lots of running, lots of sprinting. Because of her soccer background, she was able to withstand, you know, a lot of the joint pressure and the pressure she would have on her ankles and knees and ligaments, etc. So that was all right. But for most people, doing cardio where you're running, doing sprints, etc., probably not necessary. You can just go for walks every single day if you want and you will get the job done. So I'm being really picky here. The fact that I only have two things to talk about that are probably negatives, I would consider, says a lot about this transformation. So if anyone wants to go into the YouTube video, do check it out. It's a pretty decent watch, actually. There were times where you watch it and you're like, ugh. But for the most part, it seems pretty reasonable, pretty easily attainable. And the fact that it was six months was actually pretty decent. So what's the takeaway from all this? As I've said a few times already, the time she gave herself, six months, absolutely brilliant. There was nothing overly restrictive about it. Yes, the training at times was probably a bit intense, but for most people, not really necessary, especially if you want to make this a lifestyle. She was also very honest about the nutrition. So she was saying that, you know, moderation is key. There were no times where she felt like she was restricting herself. And just the obvious things, guys, honestly, like junk food, limit it, drink more water, the same boring advice. But I guess people don't like that because it's not sexy enough. You all want to focus on your Chloe Ting workouts and, you know, your seven minute ab blasting workouts and your fat burning keto recipes or whatever it may be. But really the takeaway from this was that take your time with it. Okay, six months is a long time. Make sure you focus on your health. Do this for yourself. Okay, honestly, the most important thing. And lastly, make sure it's something you can stick to. It's a lifestyle because a lot of people want to get in shape for a wedding or an event, etc. And they're actually not doing it properly. They're trying to do things quickly. They don't enjoy it. They get sore and then they associate weight loss and exercise with hunger and pain. Absolute b honestly. So just please make sure you take your time with it and you be realistic about your goals. So head on over to the YouTube channel. I believe it's Zila Fitness with Zila with an X. So do check the video out. It's a pretty decent watch actually, but that's my thoughts on it. Whether you care, whether you don't, I just thought I'd break that down for you. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you get notifications. It's a small channel, so we are growing. So any support, love and subscribe will help us massively. And I'll probably do a takedown of another video. A few people have sent me a couple of suggestions, so I'll be uh, quite excited to look forward to those. Maybe something about more controversial on those but this was a pretty decent one that I found uh, quite surprisingly good compared to some other ones that I've seen in the past as well so definitely do stay tuned for that if you haven't done so please do subscribe my name is Zay from Zeddy Training and I'll catch you guys very soon